Welcome to London. Welcome to the History Lord Channel. You join us here today in Dean Street in Soho. And today we're looking at a blue plaque. You know how much I love blue plaques. Today we're looking at one that's rather unusual. You wouldn't have thought this man would have lived in London, but he did for quite a long time. And that's Karl Marx. And that plaque is just over the road. So this plaque was actually erected in 1967 by the then Greater London Council. Karl Marx himself settled in London in around about 1849 and he remained here until he died in 1883. In fact, his most famous memorial is actually in Highgate Cemetery, which is now a Grade II listed memorial. He was born back in Germany, it was then part of Prussia, to a Jewish family, and he made his first trip to England, as I said, in 1845, arriving with his friend and collaborator Friedrich Engels, and that's when he wrote the Communist Manifesto back in 1848 having been expelled from his homeland. Well, he arrived in 1849 with his wife Jenny and their family, and they lived here at 28 Dean Street from 1851 to 1856, as it says on the plaque. They then moved down to number 64 Dean Street, which has since been demolished. Marx initially only had two rooms here on the second floor, a bedroom at the back, and that was used by the whole family, and a front room that served as a kitchen and a living room. He later rented a third room that he used as his study. His last address in London was Maitland Park Road in Kentish Town. He lived there from 1875. They did have a blue plaque there as well that was erected in 1935. However, the plaque was always being vandalised and it was replaced soon after it was installed. The owner of the house declined a third plaque. The house was later demolished and attention turned to his first address in London, which was Dean Street. Well, Karl Marx did have an intriguing life indeed. If you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then please go to historylord.co.uk, see about a walking tour of London, or have a look underneath and see about James's YouTube channel, Last Line Films, and please do subscribe. And if you want to know when videos are uploaded, there's a little notification bell just below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.